Hi everybody, it's Velvet1217 and today is P3, day 12. The last time I vlogged I was getting over some really bad food poisoning due to some chicken. Um, and I'm feeling tons better. Uh, Sunday I was a lot better and um, I had gone down to 0.6 above LDW because of the, the sickness, I guess, not being able to eat and all that mess. But I am, have, I think I'm kind of stabilizing there because I've been there since, yeah, since Saturday. I was up a little bit Sunday morning, but not much. And then I went back down Monday and I was down again today. I mean, I was the same today. Same. So, um, I've had, been having... P3 foods pretty much, except not very much meat. I've had a little bit of brisket. Um, that's about all. <laughs> Everything else is vegetables. Greek yogurt. Um, and I mix um, green onion packet, Hidden Valley packet in it, and it makes like a dip, kind of, and I top my veggies with that. Eggs and cheese and cream and those kinds of things. I also used a protein powder on one of my last vlogs of Bubba Gumpy. She recommended getting some protein powder and I did find some uh, that had fiber, protein, and very low sugar and um, so and no starch. So besides the fiber it was all good and that seems to be working out good. And I put that in my um, like shakes with that and I use almond milk for that and that's been pretty good. It's a supplement and I'm getting my protein that way. Um, I've had some meat, like I said, brisket, hamburger, meat, and um, so far so good. I think I'm kind of getting there. Uh, today I've introduced nuts. Um, I've only had almond milk. I haven't had any nuts because the first few days of P3 I had nuts and I don't know, my first few days of P3 were nuts, period, and it was crazy, and I added too, st too much too fast, and so I've kind of just been adding stuff in now slowly, now that I've been feeling better. And um, so nuts today, we'll see. I have had mac nuts, and I've had some almond butter that I put in my protein shake today. And that was really good. It was like peanut butter chocolate shake. It's good. Um, I also made something that was so yummy. I've only had a little bit of it because I don't want to go too crazy. But it is um, coconut almond fudge. Yes. It's kind of, it's made a lot like chocolate delight. Um, the variation of chocolate delight. I think God Chick does it with the agave and some stevia. It's kind of like that, and then it's with, um, but it also has almond butter in it, and the coconut oil and all that. So, anyway, it's a variation. I'll try to post the recipe in the sidebar if you want it, and you're on P3. This is not P2, <laughs> but um, you can try it and see, you know, add it in. But it, it was very yummy, and I've had a very little of it. I had um, one teaspoon when it was ready and then I had one teaspoon after my dinner so that's what I've had for that and we'll see how it goes tomorrow on the scale so I've also had a, a cauliflower crust pizza a couple of times and this was recommended by naturally free on her vlogs um, she recommended that and it is so good I highly recommend it I topped it with veggies the first day that I was feeling better but didn't want meats and it was just a lifesaver. It was so good. And um, since then I've had it with a little bit of meat on top. Some meat topping. Um, but I haven't had any chicken. And I probably won't for a while. Because <laughs> that's what made me sick. But um, anyway, I'm just, you know, plugging along. And I think I finally am getting into a groove here on P3. And I'm finally enjoying it. And, you know, that's really important. And I'm not stressing. Another thing I wanted to mention was that I've noticed, you know, now the last two days that I've been eating, you know, feeling so much better and you know, back to normal pretty much, 
I've been to the store, you know, getting cheeses and getting veggies and stuff. And, you know, any on any other diet, by this time, I would have self-sabotaged. I would have said, oh, I've lost 10 pounds. I've lost 20 pounds. I deserve to stuff my face with these cookies and this cupcake. I deserve to, you know, have um, a bowl of mashed potatoes <laughs> or whatever craving I may have that day. I would have done it. And now I don't have those cravings. I don't. I'm very satisfied. And that's amazing. I mean, I was in a bre close to the bread section and I could smell the sourdough. It smelled good, but I didn't feel any sort of temptation or even desire to go and, you know, stuff it in my face. They were having, they had the samples out there and everything. I, I didn't have any desire to even sample it. I, that's amazing. It's huge for me. I'm the girl who, you know, I'm the little girl who would have rather eaten dessert than her dinner. And, you know, that's how it's been for me since I was little. Um, I would have rather had the cake and, you know, than eat my food. And I was like that as a teenager. I would rather eat dessert all day than eat any food. And uh, I've had that sugar addiction for a long time. And it, to be free from that, it's so liberating. And I'm so happy that I found HCG and this protocol and I just feel so good about it and I feel great guys I was worried about having low energy on the no starches no sugar part but I feel great you know now that I'm not sick and my weight's not you know violently fluctuating I feel fabulous and um, if you're starting P3 off or you're having trouble on P3 hang in there keep you know plugging along keep doing what you're doing just keep at it and um, it'll happen eventually and so I'm gonna do the same thing when I add the starches and sugars I am gonna do it slowly and I'm gonna start with vegetables you know that have good starches and fruits um, I'm reading the primal blueprint that Eileen suggested on her vlog and I really really have gotten a lot out of that book and especially the workout part and the food parts you know, I don't know that I'm going to go back to eating a lot of breads and stuff. I, I, I think I really like how I feel. And so I'm going to start incorporating some of those exercises next week. I give myself one more week on, you know, uh, no exercise just to make sure that I'm stabilized and everything. And I'm going to start with the walking and, you know, the plyometrics uh, exercises he suggests and go from there. Anyways, I will... Talk at y'all later. Bye.